Gold cards in Pokemon sets, they are some of the hardest cards that you can pull in any given Pokemon set. But what are the most expensive gold cards? There are a ton of them out there. Which ones are the big money? Well, let's go and take a look. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a top 10 list in the top 10 most expensive Pokemon Gold cards. Now Gold cards are pretty awesome. I have to admit, I really like them. Gold is one of my favorite colors. I just think it looks awesome. Really nice, cool clean a look but what are the most expensive ones now we do know they are quite tricky to pull in some of the sets some of them are pretty awesome some of them can look pretty bad but it's going to be really interesting to see which ones are going to be the really the most expensive so there's only one way to find out let's go and take a look okay in at number 10 we have the ultra rule from the sun and moon base set now i haven't really opened sun and moon base it's a set which you know i haven't really i mean that one and sword and shield base i don't really open the base sets that often so you know, kind of forgive me on that one, but this is a pretty cool card nonetheless. As we can see here, it comes in number 10 at around, you know, it's taking a bit of a drop, but around $40 or so. That's actually not that expensive. You're not too bad. Ultra Ball looks like it's a pretty important card. It says here the Ultra Ball is one of the most effective Pokeballs on the Poke, Poke market. While further generations create new Pokeballs that can be more effective under the right conditions, the Ultra Ball was the most reliable Pokeball for catching any Pokemon anytime besides the Master Ball. Outside of the championship printings, Ultra Ball has been printed a total of 11 times, including three gold rare printings, making it much rarer in a set than some of the other common common ones. That's pretty good. So it's not, it's, you know, it's from a set which isn't really opened that much, Sun and Moon Base. Around $40 though, it's not really massively expensive, but I kind of get the feeling that this list is going to go pretty crazy pretty quickly. Okay, next up we have Mew from Celebrations, really recent one absolutely love this card i still don't actually own it i still i still need to get actually pull this card i need to open some more celebration packs but you can see here around 40 dollars or so this card's been pretty stable in all honesty it's been around that 40 to 50 dollar mark for a fair while now it is a beautiful stunning card i love it i think this artwork's absolutely amazing it says here celebrations was a set packed with impressive and popular cards throughout pokemon's tcg history i mean yeah it was it's such a great set classic collection absolutely amazing things with celebrations it's out of print so this card is bound to go up over time at the moment there's still a lot of celebrations around they did print it a lot so you can still get the packs but overall i think this is a great card really awesome beautiful if you get a nice one i would definitely send off to get graded let's take a look we'll see what else they say here they said like other gold rare pokemon this card showcases a shiny mew with a blue colorization as opposed to the normal pink version it's awesome it's awesome. While this card may not be able to hold its own in battle, Mew's mysterious tail ability has been game changing for some decks. There you go. So for the TCG, it seems to be pretty good. And like I say, celebrations, hard to get hold of. Let's go and take a look at what number eight will be. Okay, next we have a card from Ultra Prism, Crushing Hammer. That just sounds amazing. Let's take a look at this. So it's peaked at around 50 and then it's now dropped, well, basic, basically 50. If we go back six months, and actually it's gone up, to be honest, it's actually gone up. Ultra Prism is a set, again, I love it, from Sun and Moon Era. It's a set which has some amazing cards in it. Don't tend to open it that much. Booster Packs is going up in price. Booster Boxes are going up in price. The set's becoming harder and harder to pull cards in and to buy. Like I said, it, it's getting tricky. Very few cards have been as frustrating to play against as Crushing Hammer. There you go. It must be a pain to get. Ultra Prism is a set filled of highly coveted and popular cards is it is which can make it very difficult to find sealed products or packs to open to look for these cards i mean that's what i'm saying booster box is ultra prism it's like 300 plus it's getting really expensive booster packs are over 12 dollars. this set is getting super pricey super pricey so getting a gold card in a set like that is getting tough no wonder this price is going up for this gold card then we're back number seven with another ultra prism card we got the solgaleo gx this looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie so we take a look at this we got about six months we get an indication so it did go up to around 55 so around 50 dollars right now again not massively expensive we're only at number seven though not massively expensive this is still in ultra prism just like the crushing hammer booster packs are expensive booster boxes are expensive gold cards are becoming harder and harder to pull this is again tough to get this is a really really hard one for sure and this is what i'm saying sun and moon era booster packs are getting tough to get all of the cards in sun and moon are going up they kind of are just because it's getting really really pricey and the pull rates aren't the greatest either so to get a card like this is going to be quite difficult but look at the Leo, really cool 
really cool. Next up, we have another new card, the Arceus V Star from Brilliant Stars. Now, he did pull this for someone in a live stream, which was absolutely crazy. Um, I haven't actually opened much Brilliant Stars for myself. We've done loads on stream for everyone in the breaks, but I haven't opened up much myself. I don't have this for my collection yet. Let's take a look anyway. I say we go back six months, hasn't really been around that much. So it, it did peak really high, obviously, when it first came out, and it's kind of leveling out at around $40 or so right now. I kind of expect this card to go back up in price once Brilliant Stars is no longer in print. It's a brand new set. It's just come out. It's bound to have a lot more print runs coming over its life cycle. So expect this card probably to drop even more. And I think this is a great card. Beautiful stunt. I love the V-Star design and the white and the gold just look absolutely amazing. Having this card in your hand just looks so cool. Honestly, the picture doesn't do it justice. It looks absolutely amazing. Arceus, very popular. Brilliant Stars is going to go down as one of the best Sword and Shield era sets. Probably one of the best sets of 2022. I know it's, we've only had one set so far, but it looks like it's, it's going to be Pretty hard to top, in all honesty. You can get Brilliant Star boxes pretty cheap right now. So I would try and crack packs. Pull rates are really good in that set. So trying to get this card might actually be really good. Next up, we have Snorlax from Chillin' Rain. Now, Chillin' Rain is a set which is really cheap right now. Booster boxes are quite easy to get hold of. Pull rates aren't the most kind. There are some really expensive cards in that set. And the Snorlax is definitely one of them is definitely one of them so we take a look at this and his it's, it's price has been kind of going up and down up and down but around 80 dollars is where it's been leveling out right now and that's pretty good it is really good it's hard to pull like i say you know you can try and crack packs for this and the packs are cheap in all honesty i would probably just bite the bullet and maybe just buy this but if you have this brilliant absolutely brilliant like it says chill rain was a set that was received fairly muted receptions it did when it got first came out everyone was just like uh, you know, whatever. Some cards found competitive play while collectors passed it over, making the more valuable cards in the set harder to find. Today, few cards from this set hit over the $50 mark and Snorlax's Generation 1 appeal helps keep it over the price limit. Currently, you can find Chill and Rain packs in your local game stores, but once the set is completely out of print, Snorlax could easily climb to $100. So, this is what I'm saying. Chill and Rain, ridiculously underrated. This is a big, big card in Chill Rain. I think it's the third most expensive card. I think it's the Blaziken, then the Moltres, and then Snorlax. But yeah, absolutely crazy. Next up, we have the Ultra Necrozema GX from Dragon Majesty. Now, Dragon Majesty is a very, very expensive set. Very old. Well, I say very old. It's quite old. Hard to pull. Hard to get hold of. And we take a look at this, okay? So it was over $100. It dipped, and it's at around that $80 or so dollars right now. You can see market price, $86. Pretty cool card. I like the look of these gold cards. I think it's really cool. Dragon Majesty, though, that's hard. That's tough. That is expensive. That's all I'm going to say, guys. It is, again, super, super pricey. And, you know, it is from a really cool set. A lot of people do like Dragon Majesty. Lots of dragons, obviously. So, overall, it is a really good card. Will I pick this up? I probably would just because Dragon Majesty is really hard to get hold of. And this is going to be a hard card to pull within the set. So around $80 or so right now is not too bad. It's getting really pricey for Dragon Majesty and uh, yeah, for the Sun and Moon era, really cool. Okay, next up we have two cards in a number three and a number two, and that is the Zekrom and Reshiram from Legendary Treasures. Speaking of expensive booster packs, this set is absolutely crazy. These cards are absolutely crazy. So we take a look at the Zekrom right now. We go back six months. So it was around $100, then it dropped. And I mean, to be fair, still around $100, $110 right now for this Zekrom. I mean, look at the artwork. That looks pretty cool. And we take a look at the Reshiram as well. It's about the same. They're both around around $110 right now. Personally, I prefer the Reshiram than the Zekrom. Legendary Treasures, really, really expensive. And we take a look, gold cards have changed over the years, but there is something special about this Zekrom and Reshiram from Legendary Treasures from the black and white era. For the fans of the black and white generation, having both gold rares of this vast white and deep black Pokemon is the perfect way to show off your love for the games. They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Legendary Treasure Booster Packs, again, ridiculously pricey. You are just better off just buying these. Getting these in a good condition is key, but it is great. Gold cards aren't that ex aren't as expensive as, say, like, old arts of again, but some of the older ones are quite pricey. Some of the more recent ones, apart from the Snorlax, actually, which has been quite surprising, all the rest aren't that expensive compared to these really, really old ones. All right, guys, before we get into the last pick, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon content just like this one. And comment down below, which is your favorite gold card? I would have to say my favorite gold card is either the Arceus V-Star, because I think that's absolutely amazing, or for me, I actually think it's the Galeria Moltres from Brilliant Stars. Now, I love Articuno, don't get me wrong, but I think that red, black, and gold, just perfection, it, as far as I'm concerned, in a gold card. I think it looks absolutely amazing. All right. Let's get into the last pick. Okay, the last one we have is the Ultra Ball from Plasma Free. This is an incredibly old set. Look at the price on this one. Massive, massive. $294. 
crazy and it looks completely different it looks like a normal pokemon card but it's a gold card that's what's even more crazy it's not like a full art or anything like that so we take a look at this. the value of gold red cards in the pokemon tcg is all is almost completely dependent on how difficult they are to obtain out of a booster pack plus how valuable the card is to the player market the ultra ball from plasma freeze is the most expensive gold rare pokemon card because it's able to check these boxes by being a card from a set released in 2014 which as of brilliant stars is still standard playable since having gold rare cards in your deck is all about being able to flex your luck veteran status or disposable income finding the oldest rarest version of a card to play in your deck now is what collecting is all about plasma freeze booster packs are currently sitting at 75 dollars mad which means that opening a gold rare ultra ball is nearly impossible for players and coll collectors that were opening packs during this era there can be quite a payout if you manage to open some of the chase rares of the plasma series of sets if you're looking to complete old sets or find the most expensive cards in the pokemon tcg obtaining the most expensive gold rare will cost you at least 200 dollars if you want one in a decent condition crazy this is the most expensive card you wouldn't think so would you but there we have it plasma freeze 75 dollars a pack this card's crazy crazy expensive so there you have it guys those are the top 10 most expensive gold cards now i have to admit some of them surprised me. Snorlax, Chillin' Rain, coming through. That's what I'm saying. Chillin' Rain, Incredible Set. There's actually actually some really great cards here. You know, we got the Arceus as well. You got those awesome Zekrom and Reshiram. They look amazing after me. Not gonna lie. But the Ultra Ball, Plasma Freeze. Who would have thought? Absolutely crazy, right? Anyway, guys, that is it for me in this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are legends. And I'll see you all in the next one.